everybody and welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with a video that I'm kind of excited about. What I'm going to talk to you guys about today is my goals for Project Pan and Pan That Palette for 2017. I had my very first panning year this past year. I'll link my entire playlist of my project panning up above and I know that I want to continue to do it in 2017. So what I did was I sat down, I came up with a list of some products that I really wanted to use and what I wanted my goals to be for the year. And I'm gonna go over a couple of them with you because some of them are channel related, some of them are panning related, and it's a little mix of both, but here's what my goal is for the year in terms of Project Pan and Pan That Palette. So first things first, I have my list here of things that I want to pan. And then I also have in my journal, I've started one of these, but it's just a creative journal of different filming ideas, different goals. So my first goal for the new year is that I would like to do at least one tutorial a month. I would like to be doing those a little bit more often. I had fun filming them, editing them, not so much, but I wanna come up with some different ideas for tutorials, maybe one brand tutorials, different colors for each season, etc. I'd like to do 12 of those in the year, so one a month, and I think that that is manageable. I also want to start doing reviews on the products that I'm getting, so I want to check back in on some hauls that I did last year, let you know what my thoughts are on those products a year later, have I used them, have I not used them, what I thought of them, so I think that that's something that I want to start doing as opposed to just bringing in more items. I want to really be giving you some more reviews on those items. And then I want to do more seasonal challenges within the Project Pan community. So I will be doing a Project Pan and a Pan That palette, but I wanna be doing some of these, you know, finish four by 4th of July, finish 12, you know, the 12 days of Christmas, finish 12 by Christmas. There's a whole bunch of smaller panning projects throughout the year that people are doing that I've never taken part in because my actual just year long pan was enough for me, but I wanna take part in a couple more of those this year. So I'm gonna be looking to see which ones of those really fit best within my collection to use some things up. And I will definitely be doing the sample September again and kind of give myself a little bit of room to play within the panning community, which I think is really where I'm starting to find I am most comfortable within the beauty world. I would like to create an original tag this year. I think that that could be something fun to do. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about that, when that's gonna take place, but I do wanna research some different makeup tags, come up with an original tag, and start one of those for you guys. So I am kind of starting to creatively brainstorm and find out what I wanna do within that realm as well. Um, now, for my specific year-long panning project, here's what I have in mind. First of all, a lot of it is going to be rotational. I have a lot of things that I wanna get through. Things may be coming and going as I go. It's going to be an evolving project pan, and I think I'll probably have about 20, 25 products at any given point. And I've got a couple here that I've already gone through my collection and found that I know I wanna use up. So let's start with primers. I'm going to start off the new year using my NYX Pore Filler and my NYX Angel Veil. I'm gonna use these first, and then there's plenty more where these came from, but these will be the first ones that I start using in 2017 once I'm done my ones for this year. My eye primers, I have a Smashbox 24 hour photo finish that I wanna use. This one's, you know, a deluxe sample I started to use already. Another deluxe sample of the balms, the balms put a lid on it, and I have a deluxe sample of a primer potion. There are a ton more where that came from, but these are the three that I'm starting off with. Concealer, I have multiple, um, only one right here. So I have this, this is the Exuviance Cover Blend Multifunction Concealer. This works for concealing under my eyes, it works for blemishes, but this is older and I need to use this up, so this has to get used ASAP. This will be the first thing that I pan. I also have a Maybelline Age Rewind in the pink under eye brightener. I have an Urban Decay Naked Skin and an Essence Waterproof Concealer. This thing I tried using and I'm still a little bit too tan for it, so maybe in like the dead dead of winter, but this is very light and you can see through the packaging. So I've made a good dent on this already, but it's very light. My Becca highlighters, I'm gonna continue on my pressed, which I've been using in this project pan. I'm gonna keep using that until it's gone. And then I have plenty more of those sample pressed ones. And I'm going to use the liquid and this is in pearl. This is very, very white. I have Moonstone, I have another Opal. So I have some darker ones, but this light one is probably one of the older ones. These gold caps are the first set that I got 
and I need to use it up. So I'm going to use this up. Brows, I have a lot of product. I have three of these Make Me Brow by Essence. These are colored brow products. I will be using these. I will be using my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel as always. I want to use up one of my e.l.f. pencils. I actually have two of these. I want to finish up my Too Faced pencil. So that's in this year's project pan and I'm going to roll that over. A lot of products will roll over from this project this year to next year just because I've been making good progress and I want to keep it going. Setting sprays. I have three setting sprays to use up. I have a NYX Dewy setting, a NYX Matte setting, and a Wet n Wild Photo Finish, -y, I think the name of it is. So I've got those three that are currently in my collection that I want to use up before I start buying anything else. Setting powders. I want to finish my um, Sexy Mama by The Balm, and I want to finish my Tarte Smooth Operator. That's a loose setting powder. I want to finish both of those, and then I have others that I can bring in. Way too many others to bring in, so that's not a problem. Bronzer. I'm going to keep using my Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I also want to use up my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I really haven't used that this, that much, and I do want to use that. Blush. I am going to continue to pan my Convertible Color by Stila, the Peony. This bad boy. I love this. It's what I'm wearing today and I absolutely adore it. And then I will also be using my Becca in Flower Child. So this is my Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child and I love this color. So I will be using that next. Mascara will be rotating. I'm just going to work through. I have a lot in my collection. Those will be rotating through every three months or more depending on the usage. I would like to finish three liquid lipsticks and three tube lipsticks this year. So six in total. So we will see how that goes. For the one that everybody kind of gets really excited about, and that is the Pan That Palette Challenge. Now this year I did my Stila in the light. This is what it looks like now. And it went really, really well. However, I've decided that that was incredibly limiting and limiting to the point where I was not using any other eyeshadows this year. And I have a lot of eyeshadows. So my goal for this year is actually to do a one palette one month and switch out 12 palettes throughout the year so that I can spread my love to a lot of different shadows and hit pan on as many shadows as possible. And then I will keep track with that through my updates and see by the end of the year how many shadows I can actually hit pan on. I'd like to hit pan on at least 30. So we'll see how that goes. When I do an intro to the, to the challenge, showing you all the products and my progress. I'll let you know my first palette for January and then during the wrap up at the end of the month I'll introduce you to the palette for the next month. I'm really 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 excited for this new format especially for the pan that palette. The rest of it is really the same as what I've been doing this entire year which is rotating things in as I use them. However I'm really excited to get to some of these other palettes and use more eyeshadows. So guys I hope you're on board with this plan. I'm really excited for my goals for 2017 for Pan That Palette, for some more tutorials, for some more product reviews. If you guys have any suggestions or things that you'd like to see from me, be sure to go ahead and leave them down below. I am so, so, so excited. And I think at one point during the year two, one of my goals is to do a collection. I'm going to have to do another purging, but I also want to shoot and let you guys see what my entire collection looks like, how many foundations, how many powders, etc, etc. So I'll be doing one of those this year as well. That's one of my goals too, because I would like to have a better catalog of what I have and what my oldest items are. Those are my goals for 2017. Guys, I'm so excited for another year of panning and for creating content for this channel. I really, really enjoy it. And I love talking to all of you guys in the comments. I can't believe it's already 2017, but I know it's going to be a fantastic year for this channel, for me, for makeup. I'm so excited. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.